Hello, Vanessa. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello. Thank you. Okay, you're the first in the group, right? So welcome. Uh, we are going to start with an exercise and let's let's wait for the other, right? So again, welcome. I'm gonna share one activity. Let me see. Okay. Can you see the screen, Vanessa? Yes. Teacher. Okay, good. So this is about some amazing facts about amazing landmarks. A landmark is a, a place that is remarkable and especially in every country. For example, in France, uh, we have the Eiffel Tower, right? The Eiffel Tower. So, would you like to read about the Eiffel Tower, Vanessa? Yes, teacher, Please. I try. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower, when it was opened in 1880, Eight hundred. Okay, eighteen, eighteen eighty nine, eighteen eighty nine. Eighteen eighty nine. The tower was spread <laughs> after a decade. It was painted yellow, and later it was covered in different shades of brown. Okay. These are the characteristics of the Eiffel Tower, right? Mm -hmm. And this, I repeat, is a landmark in France, right? Machu Picchu, we were learning about the Machu Picchu. Rosibel, can you read about the Machu Picchu, please? Good night. Good night, hello, welcome, Rosibel. Thank you. Uh, Machu Picchu, it is a located 2000, 430 meters, uh, 70,972 uh, feet. I'm not sure. How do you say PS in English? Uh, feet. Feet. Mm -hmm. Up above sea level, and it is as resisted several. Airquash, when there is an, an airquash, the stones dance and fall back into place. Thank you, Rosibel. Thank you very much. So, uh, a very interesting information, right? Yeah. So, uh, the stones are just put one over the other, right? So, it's they don't use mortar. Mortar is uh, cemento, right? Or other thing, right? Okay, and uh, when it, it, we have an earthquake, you know, terremoto, right? The, the, the rock just, or the stones only dance, <laughs> okay? Good. Now, Mariano, can you help me with this reading? Uh, sorry, for the pronunciation is difficult for me too. It's, the Neosh one stain. Oh, okay. Yes, one stain castle. The beautiful castle in Germany was the inspiration for the Walt Disney Magic Kingdom. Sleeping Beauty Castle. Hello. Good. Thank you very much, Mariano. Thank you very much. So uh, it's a beautiful castle, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's beautiful. And um, it's in Germany, right? It's in Germany. Yeah, it's a uh, landmark in Germany. Uh, the Mount Fuji. 
or maybe you can say the Mount Fuji, <laughs> the Mount Fuji, right? Domingo, can you read about this mountain, please? Can you raise a name to name Fuji or Fuji, uh, the Mount Fuji? The Mount Fuji, uh, the <clears throat> the highest high mountain in Japan is a marine made up of a book, is made up. Made, made, up. Up, made, made up of a uh, volcanoes, 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 mm -hmm. volcanoes, and the last record the eruption start in seventeen zero seven. Seventeen oh seven, right? Long, long time ago, right? Long, long time ago. Okay, then we have the next one is the Statue of the Liberty, right? David, can you read please about the Statue of the Liberty, please? Okay, good evening. Good evening. The Welcome. state, the state. The statue, of Liberty. statue, statue, mm -hmm. statue. The statue uh -huh. of okay. Liberty, the 350. Yes, His 350, yeah. Were, were made in France and the ship it, ship it to the United unit States. United States, right? Ship is like, you know, the a United. boat, like Titanic, you know? Titanic was a ship. So a ship means embarcado, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, the Big Ben. Oscar, can you read about the Big Ben? This is at the corner, right? Okay, the Big Bang, the tower is named Elizabeth Tower. Big Bang is the name of the bell inside it. Okay, so the tower, the tower is Elizabeth because of the Queen Elizabeth, right? So the Elizabeth Tower. And the Big Bang is the clock that we see here, right? You know, the, the bell that is inside of the, the, the tower. And, Bing. It's a very common sound in, in, in London, right? Okay, so these are some landmarks in other countries. Now, uh, here we have some questions, right? After I make this question, I will take the attendance, right? Number one, did you know these facts about the landmarks about? Let me see, Mariano, did you know these facts before? Or this is new for you? The number one. The, all the landmarks, the Big Bang, uh, the, the, all the, this information the, is new for you or you knew it before? The new Weinstein Castle is new. Ah, okay, good. Good. And Debbie, do you know something else about these landmarks? Do you have other information about these landmarks? Nothing. No, 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 okay. No. <laughs> you only heard right about this. Good. Yes. Who has visited? Who has visited one of these places? Vanessa, have you visited one of these places? No, teacher, I no. haven't. But no. someday, someday. Someday, yes, of course. <laughs> only I, hope my one. <laughs> I hope, right? At least one, yes. How about you, Oscar Anulfo? Have you visited one of these places? No creo. No, no, I don't believe. Know. Well, in 2003, I went to Paris in Italy. I was visiting uh, Paris and, and I went to the Eiffel Tower. Yes, there are a lot of rats in the tower, right? And also there are two very expensive restaurants, right, in the, in, the, in the middle of the tower, right? When I went, it cost uh, 20 euros, 20 euros, you know? 
And today, the last time I heard, it costs 40 euros. Euros are more expensive than the dollars, right? So it's like, I imagine about $50, $50 to go up the Eiffel Tower. So it's very nice, right? And Domingo, would you like to visit one of these places? Would you like to visit one of these places, Domingo? Yes or no? Machu Picchu, the Statue of the Liberty. Would you like uh, to visit? Do you like to visit? Uh, I, 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 I like I like visit is uh, a statue the uh, Statue of the Liberty. The Statue yeah. of the Liberty. It's possibility. Liberty. There is a possibility, right? In New York. The mojado. <laughs> well, yes. Yes. Uh, it's a possibility. But I like, I much like, I like, I like, I much like, I like, I like, I Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu, no, right? Machu Picchu. It's <laughs> Machu Picchu. Yes. Okay. In Peru, right? Uh, uh -huh. it looks very nice. How about you, it's Rosario? Beautiful. Okay. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, and historic uh, place, right? Uh -huh. okay. Very yes. good. Thank you, Domingo. Thank you very much. Rosibel, what about you? Which of these places uh, would you like to visit and why? Uh, if I have the opportunity, I would like to all <laughs> visit. To visit all of them. Oh. Yeah, yeah, because it's a beautiful place and interesting uh, uh, history about that world. Yes, it's very interesting. You know about this Mount Fuji? When I was a kid, ooh, long time ago. A long time ago. Yes, oh, thank you, Rosiva, thank you, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yes. I was I uh, used to see a cartoon. The name of the cartoon was cartoon was Massinger Zeta, right? Oh, see. Massinger Zeta. I, uh -huh. I saw. Then, uh huh. And then in Massinger Zeta, it, it appears the Mount Fuji. Yes. Really? And so I remember. I remember. I would like to go there, right? There is a snow at the top, you know. Okay, good. Now, what about the country, Mariano? Do you know any? Interesting facts about the landmarks in El Salvador. For example, we can mention Salvador del Mundo. La Chulona. La Chulona. <laughs> en el Chulón, yes, el Chulón in, in uh -huh, San Benito, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. And what else? Uh, Torre Cucatlán. Uh, uh, let's say Parque Libertad. Uh, Palacio Nacional now, that is... Least, Palacio last, Nacional, yeah. Last time I went to a tour in, in, in Palacio Nacional, it, it is one dollar. The Central Tour. Uh-huh. One dollar and you can visit the, the National yes. Palace, you know? National yes, Palace. it's very interesting, Tisha. Good. So, but do you know in something interesting about one of these places, Mariano? Yes, uh, Machu Picchu. No, 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 but I'm talking about El Salvador. Ah, in El Salvador. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. You know some information. <laughs> For example, what's Salvador yeah. del Mundo? What do you know about Salvador del Mundo? Uh, I don't know. Who's the Nothing. guy who is I'm there? Fine. What? Who's the statue in, in Salvador del Mundo? I, I don't have any reference about this. Okay. Also, I, uh, but but who's the guy? Who's the guy? The guy is Jesus, right? Jesus. Yes, 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 uh -huh. it's Jesus. So is he's uh, the savior, you know, El Salvador, right? Oh, oh. Yes. El Salvador de Salvador. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah. And Mariano, have you heard about uh, Boulevard de los Héroes? Yes. Okay. And next to yeah. the in front of Pollo Campero Metro Sur. There is a yes, like a little statue, right? And it says honor a los héroes. Yeah, uh, who, who knows in, in the center of uh, no, yes, yes, yes. And it says 
yeah. why why we call this Boulevard de los Ceros? Why? Boulevard. Uh, why? Why? Well, yes, the. What is the reason? Who are the heroes? Is it Superman, Batman, or what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Rosibel, do you have information about that? Rosibel, can you help me? Why we call Boulevard de los like, Héroes? And there is a, a statue dedicated with to the proceres too, teacher. Uh huh. The proceres, yes, because of you know uh, Manuel Jose Arce, Jose Matias Delgado, Javier Gomez, and other famous proceres, right? <laughs> yes. But Rosibel, do you know why we call Boulevard de los Héroes? No. No, not no information. Sure. No. Okay, I will describe. Listen. In 1969, El Salvador went to war with Honduras, right? And many people died in Honduras, right? In 1969. So they dedicated this monument that is, I say, in front of Pollo Campero Metro Sur, right? It's in the middle of the boulevard. Next time you, you go there, when you visit La 49, right? Estadio Mágico González, mm -hmm. you go to Metro Center, right? So in the middle, there is a statue. And it is honor a los héroes. So it's because of the heroes that, that died in the war against Honduras, right? Okay, good, class. Now we'll take the attendance. Uh, Trini. Aminda. Present. Okay, welcome, Aminda. Ana Maria? Soy Trini. Oh, Trini, Trini, okay, well. Yes. Uh, give me a second, Trini. Okay, Trini and Aminda? Aminda? No. Okay, good. So it's Trini, no Aminda, right? Now, uh, Ana Maria? Ana Maria? <laughs> Perdón, okay. no podía quedar. Ok, good. Thank you, Ana María. Carlos William. Present. Good. Claudia Guadalupe. In the chat, right, Claudia? Ok, thank you. Domingo. Present. Ever. Good. José Roberto. Present, teacher. Good. Carla Benazir. The message, Carla, in the chat. Mándeme el mensaje, Carlita. Okay, thank you, thank you. I got it, I got it, yes. Carla Vanessa. Carla Vanessa. Laisley. Leticia. Leticia. Oops. Mariano. Present teacher. Eh, Leticia. Sí, yes. Yeah, yes, okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Mariano, yes, right. Oscar Arnulfo. Yeah, thank you. Present. Oscar. Good. Rosemary. Rosemary. Rosibel. Present. Vanessa Noemi, thank you. Present. Good. Yvette. Present. Good. Walter. Yes. Present, teacher. Good, thank you. Wendy? Present. We miss you yesterday, Wendy. Ah, no, yesterday, yes. No, 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 forget it, forget it. Olvide lo que antier fue que no pudo estar. Okay, Vicky? Vicky Dinora? Eh, Miriam, Verónica? Miriam? Salvador, Cham, Chamba, right? Mándeme el mensaje, Chamba, por favor. Para tomarla en cuenta la asistencia, chamba. Ok, Debbie. Present. Good. Jorge Alfredo. Ok, good. So let's start with the class right now, right? Let me see. Uh -huh. I have Carla and Claudia Guadalupe. Ok, good. Chamba, thank you, chamba. Good. That's it, right? Now let's start. Let's start with the class. I'm gonna share the, the presentation, right?
Today, the presentation is very short. It's, we're gonna make it very fast, right? Only for the slide. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to a new class. This is class number six, right? English for work for intermediate three. Today is Thursday. I, I feel like it is Friday, but no, it's, Friday. it's not Friday, right? Thursday, June the 30th, right? And the topic is the four P's, the four P's of the marketing mix. What is the meaning of this P, 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 four P's, right? And the marketing mix, what is, this? What is that? So we're going to investigate today, right? And ladies and gentlemen, before we start, again, we have a new topic. Well, it's the second day, right, about this topic, music. Music, music, some people come together. Madonna has a song that name of the song is music, right? Okay, let's start with uh, Trini. Hello, Trini. Uh, do you like yeah. jazz, Trini? Uh, yes. Jazz is the origin of a lot of music, right? Rock, uh, uh, pop, etc., etc., right? And is one of the most popular music of uh, kind of music in New Orleans, right? New Orleans in the United States. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, I mean, it's not here, right? So, Ana Maria. Ana Maria, do you like to listen classical music? You know, Chopin, Beethoven, Mozart, Tchaikovsky, Javier Gomez. Yes, I, I, actually, I, have, I like some, uh, Beethoven. Uh, uh -huh. what, what, what? I don't know how, how, how is the name of the song, but if I listen, it's like, okay, I know what it is. <laughs> Okay, but you don't know the name of the author or the of that song. No, actually, no, I don't know. Okay, but uh, when you are doing something, right? Would you like to listen classical music, Ana Maria? For example, when you are, you know, cleaning the house, for example. Yes, I, I like listening uh, like slow music or classic music, like when I I want to concentrate in something. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you, Ana Maria. Okay. Yeah. And Yvette, Yvette is in the chat or you're listening, Yvette? Okay, so you're in the Hello, I'm here. You're here. Okay, good. So you say that you like less classical music, right? What is like your favorite author? Uh, um, Mozart, Chopin, Tchaikovsky? Vivaldi. Vivaldi, Vivaldi, my goodness. He's Italian, right? Yes. Vivaldi from Italy, yes. Yeah. Was, sorry, was for Italy. From Italy, yes. Oh, come on, Vivaldi. It's very excellent music, right? But imagine today reggaeton, come on. <laughs> no, okay. never. Never, right? Good, thank you, Yvette. Now, Carlos, Carlos William, uh, yeah. do you like singing karaoke? Mm, not really. Not I, I don't really. I don't have I don't have good voice. <laughs> okay, me either, but have you ever tried sometimes in a party or with some friends? You have never tried, Carlos. Yes, uh, a long time, time ago, okay. <laughs> I tried. Chente, imagine chente. Hablando de mujeres y por... Okay, <laughs> maybe, right? Okay. And what about you, uh, Domingo? Do you like karaoke? Uh, depending. Depends. Depends. For example, Depends. Uh, pop yes. music, pop music. Uh, pop music uh, uh, in karaoke. Pop, pop music in karaoke. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. The... Mana. 
Maná es arjona. Te deseo. Ok. Uh -huh. Arjona. Ok. Mujeres. ¿Por qué no pidan? Ok, I, I imagine Domingo singing, right? Mujeres. Ok. Very good. Nice. Domingo, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, Ever. Ever, do you, do you like to dance, Ever? I heard. It's yes. different too. It's what, different. what kind of music do you like to dance, for example? Uh, depend for the number of beer I have to drink. <laughs> My goodness. I, I imagine like <laughs> 10 beer, right? <laughs> With 10 beers, you can see Ever, right? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Right. Yeah, I imagine. I imagine you in a party, Ever. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, after three, after three. Okay, good. After three, like you, every because you dance whatever, right? <laughs> yes. How about you, Jose Roberto? Do you like to dance, Robert? Hello, hello, teacher. Sorry. Do you like to dance? Uh, not really. No. Okay. No. I don't ask the women in the group because. There is a say that people say that there is no women that cannot dance, so, right? It's a, it's a say, it's un dicho, right? They say, no hay mujer que no pueda bailar, right? So, so I, we men, we are bad dancers, right? I, I know, right? Okay, but women, I imagine you are good dancer, right? Now, Carla Vanessa, eh, do you listen to music while you're doing your homework or when you're working? Uh, in my work, in ho at home, when oh. I go to travel, okay. always, always, I, I always. To, always listening nice. music. Good. Eh, sorry, eh, no le tomé la asistencia, Carla. Perdone, que es que me confundí con Carla Benazir. Carla okay. Vanessa, ¿verdad? Yes. Sorry, sorry, Carlita. Sorry. Because I had two Carlitos in the room, right? Okay, thank you. Uh, Leslie, ya, ya se conectó Leslie. No, okay. So Leticia, please. Leticia, uh, do you think while you're taking a bath? Or when you are in the shower? Lo, lo, lo. In the water, right? I don't like teacher. You don't like, <laughs> you don't like what? Take a shower or yeah. you don't like to, to sing? <laughs> Uh, see, because uh, I embarrassed, I embarrassed oh. with another person listening to me. But uh, I imagine in your house, people can listen to you, they? Um. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're embarrassed. Yes. Okay, good. Yes, but um, some people, I don't know, it's a custom, right? When you take in the shower, you feel very happy and then, oh, and you start singing, right? Okay, good. And Mariano. Uh, do you think there is a relationship between drugs and music? I I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, right. Don't have uh, any relationship, but is independent issue. Okay, well, because some people that use drugs, they listen to music, right? And then, <laughs> but the people <laughs> don't drugs listen to music too okay uh, i know i know but but you know <laughs> well anyway i i respect your opinion very good mariano the people and say Oscar, a, a specific kind of music is for drugs well drugs, uh, I don't know. for example but mariano have you heard rap, the, the groups of uh, gruperos reggae or uh, the rap. reggae too right the, the, Elevation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. But... Yeah, it's possible, but not necessary, of course, right? Not necessary, right? So, Oscar, and how about violence? Is the, the violence related with music? Yes or no, in your opinion? In my opinion, the depend on music. Uh -huh. When I listen to rock, it's disaster. You, you want to destroy everything? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> No, no, uh, also uh, the rap, right? Rap and, for example, in, in 
in the yeah, other so cool. group for Molotov. Molotov, uh, yes, I remember Molotov, wow. right? Uh -huh. yes. they, the music of Molotov uh, promote the, to fight against the government, right? Uh -huh. Yes, in Mexico. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Next question. Thank you, Oscar. Rosemary. Rosemary? No, right? Rosibel, have you ever been to a concert? Yes, I have been. Who? Who was the ba a band, a, a singer? Uh, a band, Mana. Mana, yes. okay. Uh -huh. You went to the concert of Mana? Nice. Uh, yes. Sabes como um, bebes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, 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 singer, uh, uh, Ricky Martin. Or... Ricky Martin. Okay. Ricardo Martinez, right? Ricky Martin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good music, right? Yeah. Living la vida loca. Tan, tan, tan. I imagine <laughs> Rosibel singing, right? <laughs> Está de Cucatlán, I imagine, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. The concerts are really nice. I remember yeah. the last concert I went, I went to see, to see Silvio Rodriguez. This is oh. a guy from Cuba, right? Mm -hmm. I went to uh, Estadio Mágico González, I remember, a long time ago, right? Yes, and I went to, to listen to uh, Café Tacuba in La Feria, in the ex-feria, you know? Mm -hmm. Café Tacuba. I remember the, the singer of Café Tacuba was running and he jumped in the middle of the public, you know? He was, this guy was crazy, you know? <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. Thank you. Thank you, Rosibel. Yvette, uh, how does music make you feel, Yvette? Sad, happy, excited, uh, violent. How? How does music <laughs> make you feel? Uh, how? Uh, happy. Happy, okay. Music well, it depends on the music too, right? It depends yes. on... The classical music uh, is uh, when I need to relax. Okay, and when you listen Leo Dan, for example, <laughs> how does Leo Dan make you feel? <laughs> um, nostalgic. Okay, man. Let's go to Willis. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> okay, good. So it depends on the music, right? For example, <laughs> rock. When, when you no, listen yeah. to the rock, right, you start say uh, Yes, it's my favorite kind of music. Nice. Okay, okay I, will, I will stop the microphone. Voy a probar un ratito los micrófonos. Okay, good, thank you. And now, continue, Yvette. And have you heard this song if, that says, Come on, feel the noise. The rock. Huh? Have you heard that, yes, Yvette? I like I like okay. it. Good. Sister, Thank sister. You. Twister sister, you're right. <laughs> nice. Okay, <laughs> Vanessa. Vanessa Noemi. Thank you. Uh, how much time do you spend listening to music? Mm, per day, I think one hour. One hour. The no, 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 no. I think three hours because three hours. when I yeah. when I go to my house and I go to work, I put the radio and listen music nice and, and sometimes in my in my job i listen music so i think three hours per day three hours every day no mm -hmm. very good <laughs> nice it's a lot of time yeah okay yeah. what about <laughs> good what about you walter Omar? how often do you listen to music three times a day once a week once a month how often do you listen music listen to music every day Every day. Every day. I listen a lot of music. I listen when I need to focus on my work. When I try to sleep, I put relaxing music. Yeah. When I training, running, I like to 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 run with music. And it's a lot. Nice. Congratulations. Yes, music is, is very good. And you know what? 
Oh, I forgot today to send the video, right? Se me olvidó enviarles el video de este día. Era una canción, pero se lo voy a enviar mañana. Yes, tomorrow. But I was talking about the music, that when you listen to music and, and the music is in English, uh, you remember forever, right? For example, who cannot sing the song, Stand By Me, for example. When the night has come and the land is dark, at the school, at the university, and where, and where, whatever. You remember that song? That's also. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. no, what I want to tell you is that when you listen that song, or all the songs in music, is in your mind. And it, 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 according to the scientists, this message is more permanent in the brain, is more permanent. So the best way to learn English is music, you know? Yes. Uh, for example, romantic music is very easy to understand and then you can, you can sing and learn English, right? Uh, for example, I remember Air Supply, for example, right? One song that says, cause you're every woman in the world to me. Yeah, and then you remember the, the, the lyrics and then you're singing and singing. Come on, this is a good way to, to learn English, right? Good, and to finish with this topic, Debbie, Debbie, how often do you listen to the radio? I don't listen radio. Oh, <laughs> never. Never. You don't drive, Debbie, you don't drive. I ride a motorcycle. Oh, oh, oh. my goodness, Debbie, it's, it's true, you ride a motorcycle. Yes. Hey, be <laughs> careful, be careful on the street, right? <laughs> I used to, to ride motorcycle. Ooh, I had three motorcycles, but a long time ago. And yes, it's kind of dangerous, right? It's kind of dangerous, but exciting. Yes, when you are in your motorcycle and you feel the, the wind, you feel free, right? Driving to Puerto de Libertad, for example, right? Ooh, come on, this is nice. And my recommendation is that you can, sometime, Debbie, you can listen to music, right? The radio, you know? In the morning, for example, I always listen a program. Uh, the name of the program is Morning Clue in Stereo Clue, right? 92.5 in the radio. So because the music they put there is really nice for me, right? So I listen to the radio. Who else listen to the radio? Anybody else in the group? Contemporary. Oh, contemporary, Oscar. Yes, yes. ABC. ABC. Yes. ABC. Uh, La Lasser, right? La Lasser. Yes. Corazón. Corazón. Oh. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, you see, so you, you listen to music, nice, on the radio, right? Okay, good. So that's it, right? This is just to warm up the class. Now let's start with unit two. We are going to to teach 10 classes with this unit too, right? Because marketing is really important, right? And uh, for example, some of the companies here, right? In, in the class, uh, Banco Cucatlán, Rayones del Salvador, Taca, McCormick, uh, Grupo Pale, Imporse, Maxitec, et cetera, et cetera, right? All of your companies use marketing. So for you, this topic is very important, right? So let's start with unit number two. Ladies and gentlemen, the objective. Who wants to read for me the objective? Volunteers? Volunteers, please. Oh yeah, Vanessa, read, please. I will be able to identify the main elements of the marketing mix of a renowned Renowned, 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 renowned of a renowned nation, national product slash service. Or service, right? So the elements of the marketing mix related with a national product. Um, I don't know, it could be cola champagne, could be uh, clothes, shoes, uh, it could be... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we have a lot of product, right? So that we are known as very popular product, right? In El Salvador. So we're going to learn 
and identify how these elements of the marketing play with this product, right? Okay. Teacher, what is renowned? Renown is reconocido. Oh, okay. Popular, popular. Okay. Mm. A popular okay. national product is, right? Uh, no, you know, no. No, this is re well, reconocido. reconocido yes. Okay, now let's go to the to the vocabulary for today. Uh, we have this marketing. Who wants to read for me? Volunteers, please. Marketing. Volunteers, please. The activity uh -huh. set of institution and processes for trading, communicating, delivering, and exchanging offering that have value for customers, clients, partners, and society at large. Very good. It's kind of complicated, the topic, right? Okay. So it's one activity, right? It's a process. Uh, basically, to create products, create products, right? Communicate with the companies, deliver products, exchange products, right? And uh, this is offering, right? But when I say offerings, I re uh, it re uh, is related with products, services, right? For example, Banco Cucatlan, Banco Cucatlan offer services, right? Uh, I know that, uh, let me see, Claudia Guadalupe works in, in, in Banco Cucatran, for example, right? And others like TACA also, right? TACA offers services, right? And well, many companies here. And also Telemobil, right? Uh, Telemobil is other company that offer this product, right, and services. And uh, these products and these services have a value, have importance for customers, clients, partners, and the society in, in general, right? So marketing is a very expanded and, and extensive activity related with products, merchandise, goods, et cetera, et cetera, right? Good. Interview. Who wants to read interview? Okay. Uh, Ana Maria, please. Interview and a structured conversation where one participant asks questions and the other pro provides answers. Good. Thank you. Guarantee. Volunteers, please, guarantee. Carlos, please. A promise that something is of a specific quality, content, benefit, etc., or that it will perform satisfactorily for a given length of time. Okay, for example, one of the most popular devices is uh, the brand Sony, right? Sony has a guarantee that uh, it's a, a product that has quality and is going to bring you benefit, right, to you. And that you will continue using the product satisfactorily, satisfactorily for an extension of time, right? For example, a car, well, I, my previous car was a Toyota Crescida. It was a lanchon, right? <laughs> a very big car. And I had this car for 10 years. Can you imagine? So Toyota is a good brand. So I had the car for 10 years. So for me, it was satisfactory. So I had the guarantee that it was a good product, right? Understand? Guarantee, right? Now, success. Success. Volunteers? Want to read, please help me. The accomplishment of a get of set, a set, a set goal. Goal. A set goal. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, Debbie. So uh, is the accomplishment, el logro, no? 
pero no estoy hablando de, de Fred, ¿no? El logro es el logro of a, of a goal, right? De una meta, de, una, de un objetivo en la vida, right? So, for example, graduation. If you graduate, so you have success. If you finish this course, intermediate three, you have success, right? If you obtain a lot of money, right? If you become famous in the world, so it's success, right? Because you accomplish a goal, right? Target. What is a target? Target. Mm -hmm. So time that is sell, sell it of, selected um, selected uh, of um, object of attention. Very good. Attention. Thank you, Domingo. So, for example, uh, I want to buy, it's not true, but, but imagine, right? I want to, to buy a new car, right? And then my target, uh, what I am paying attention is a new car, you know? So that is my objective, my target, yes? Uh, and the same could happen in the, in the, in the market, right? So you, you, have, you have to, for example, if you're selling a product, right? Let's say, for example, uh, uh, Rosibel, right? Ros Rosibel works for McCormick, right, Rosibel? So, I'd imagine your target to sell your yes. products, right? Is the public that likes to cook, right? People that like to cook or, or housewives, you know, I'm at the casa, right? I imagine this is the target of, of McCormick, right? Um, in the case of Evermoda, Euromoda, sorry, Euromoda, right? Uh, this is for Ana Maria, right? I imagine the target uh, of Euromoda is, uh, well, mo most of, I, I imagine, right, women, right? Because women like the fashion, you know? So the target is the, uh, the object of attention, right? When you're selling a product, right? Good. Yes. Figure out, okay, thank you. Figure out or figure it out. Now, in this case, it's without the pronoun, right? So figure out, figure out. Who wants to read figure out? Solve a problem or discover the answer to a question. question. So you're, you're thinking, right? Mm, I need new clients in my business. I will figure out how to obtain new clients, right? Or I need money to establish a business, right? Even a single business, a pupuseria or venta de choripana, or, you know, and then so you you figure out, you think how to obtain the money to invest in this in this business. So that's figure out, and you're giving the answer of a of a question or the answer of a problem, right? Fail. What is fail? Who wants to read, please? Fail. Me. Please. Fail. Be unsuccessful in achieving one's goal. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I heard two voices, but that's nice. Thank you. Uh, success is when you obtain something, right? When you achieve a goal, right? And fail is the opposite on success, right? So, for example, select a sub-20, right? They fail. They are not going to, to go to the world, world, uh, world soccer. World soccer is a, a mundial, World right? Cup. World Cup, thank you, I forgot. The World Cup, sub-20, right? Sub-20. They are not going to go, they fail against Dominique Republic. Right? Sorry for select uh, for la solita, right? Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so in unsuccessful in achieving or, or obtaining one goal, right? Good. Any extra question? Any translation that you want? Yes, sir. Remember the achieving the meeting in Spanish? 
Achieving. Achieving es lograr. Lograr algo. Achieving. Achieve. Lograr, ok. Accomplish and achieve are synonyms. Synonyms, sorry. Synonyms. Achieve and accomplish is the same, right? Obtain, get, accomplish, achieve, right? And normally you achieve goals, you know, metas in la vida, right? Goals. So or you accomplish or you achieve goals in the life, right? Good. Thank you. Any other question? Exchange, teacher. Exchange. You give me something and I give you something. For example, I am, I am producing pupusa, right? <laughs> so and the, I give you the pupusas and you give me money to my business, right? Okay. Or oh, I, okay. I sell, I sell uh, water, for example, right? Uh, water la perlita, for example, right? So I give you water and you give me money, right? That's exchange. And also we can change, exchange products. So you say, hey, I like your car. Oh, yes, I like your car too. Let's, let's exchange, right? So it's when you give me something and I give you another thing, right? In change. Understand? Understand? Yes, yes. okay, good. Thank you. Good, any other question? No questions? Good, remember, we're going to use this vocabulary, right, in the class. So I will ask you, le voy a preguntar sobre este vocabulario, so please. Ah, here, look, achieve, ah, yes. Si, aquí está la palabra también, achieve and accomplish, it's the same, achieve and accomplish, it's the same. Good, sorry, la acabo de poner y no, no la había visto. So achieve and, and accomplish. Good, any other word class, please? Be honest, tell me, do you understand? No? Okay, so we finish. We finish the presentation for today, right? Okay, now we're going to go to the manual. But before to go to the... Sorry? Sorry, teacher, I can participate. Just I, I, I live uh, from my work to my house. I driving. You are going to drive, Roberto. Okay, understand. So you're going to travel to your home. Okay, good. Yes, I drive, I drive, I drive uh, to my house. Okay, good, thank you. When you are in your house, tell me please, thank you. Okay, now. Okay, okay. Good, now we're going to go to the manual, right? Page number 17. Page 17. Give me a second. Okay. Good. So I will be able, we read the objective, the label of the theory, right? And let's start in this question. Discuss this question, class. This is unit two, marketing, right? What do customers want? Four, it says four, right? Aquí eliminemos la M, esta M no existe, y se han equivocado. What do customer want for a service or a product? Or what are the expectations of a customer, right? Or of a client for the, for the products? I will ask for some companies, right? I will start with McCormick, right? Uh, in this case, I have Jose Roberto, but Jose Roberto está manejando ahorita. So, Rosibel, please. What do your clients expect for, for McCormick products, Rosibel? Uh, good test, uh, quality, um, um, uh, more, more delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so the expectation of the clients or the customers is that the, their food becomes more delicious, right? Than the usual. Because it is it's not the same to, to eat frijolito, right? Simple frijolito, right? But if you add some uh, species, right? Species. And I exist a special a speech for, for beans. Okay, nice. Walter Omar? 
same question for you because you work for for McCormick, McCormick too, right? What are the expectations for uh for the products that the your clients expect from McCormick, Walter? May more delicious every food. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the McCormick feeling says say the word of bore bore food. Good. Walter, uh, I remember because I, I, I have worked for many companies, right? Uh, so I remember in the reception, they have uh, the vision and the mission of the of the company, right? So I imagine the vision and the mission of, of the company is related to obtain satisfaction for the customer, passion, right? Passion for the best. Okay. Passion, passion. passion for the best. That's it. Okay, Same. nice, nice. Thank you very much. Good. Ana Maria, what about Euromoda? What is the expectations, the clients, the customers want for the products of Euromoda? I think is well, Euromoda is Sara. Exactly that. Sara la grandia. So uh, I think the customer actually wants something in, like uh, fashion and accessible to the to her. I don't know how to say in Uh huh. Okay. And in, in, among your clients, Ana Maria, you have more women or, or more men or, or the same? Um, actually, I have. Uh, for ladies, for gentlemen, and kids too. So oh, I have the fun. <laughs> good. Thank you. Thank you very much. And the last, the last company, right? Rayones del Salvador, Domingo. What happened? What is the expectation for the clients of Rayones del Salvador? But before to go to this, Domingo, what do you produce? Uh, clothes? This um, product products is a uh, fabric. Uh, fabric is uh, textile. Textiles. Ah, oh, okay. Textiles. Textiles. Uh, textiles. textiles. Uh -huh. Okay. So, what is what is the expectation, or what do your clients want from the uh, text, textiles that are produced in 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 Rayon and Del Salvador? What is the expectation of your clients? Uh, the the fabric uh, the styles is the service uh, the, the good, uh, good product or a good product mm -hmm. a good okay. product and uh, um, the the how say uh, high quality high quality high quality high quality uh, 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 the service uh, a customer. Good. And listen, I have a question, Domingo. The color, because I imagine textile have a, have a lot of color, right? The uh, color is, is important in these uh, the, products? Yes, it's important the color, the textura, como se textura. Tex the, the, the manufacturing, the manufacturing. Uh, the manufacturing is uh, the, uh, Estampado, stick. Mm -hmm. The stickers they use, the, 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 uh -huh. the, the use, form, uh -huh. they say the form, uh -huh. the format, right? Uh, the form is uh, the uh, um, uh, the um, is, is very important, uh, right? It is important. Um, thank you, thank you. That's enough, Domingo. Thank you. Good information. I like it. Okay, and uh, let's go to the next question. This question is for Ever, right? The uh, distributor cookie. Ever is going to explain about what is what products we can get in distributor cookie, right? How is the product you sell in distributor cookie different to the products of your competition? 
Uh -huh, a ver, what can you tell us? What Just do I have to prepare? The other cookie and no, no other. The, the sal or the commerce, something like that. These are other companies that distribute products in El Salvador, right? But what about distributor of Coqui? Some supplies is, is very, very similar, but the, the material that is manufactured that we import is different, is, is, is better. Okay, I like your idea, Ever. So next time, next time that I I want to distribute my product, I will ask for the distributor of Coqui to help me, right? Okay. No, the, the, the correct name is this distributor of Coco. Coco. Oh. That, that is sorry. that is mistakes in the name, yes. Oh. We import yeah. we import supplies and machinery. Machinery uh, too, uh, my goodness. So it's a big too. business. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm, no, I don't Good. think so bad, but I try I try to get in in to provide it to, to the a little workshop uh, around the world, uh, around the, the, the country. Sorry. Okay, thank you very much. And Carla Vanessa, Inversiones Salvadoreñas de Materiales, right? That is the correct name. Carla Vanessa? Uh, no. No, 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 no. Inversiones yeah. Salvadoreñas? No, no. No. Well, what is the correct name, please? Uh, Textiles La Paz. Textiles La Paz, yes. Textiles La Paz. Yes, you're right. Excuse me. This is for <laughs> okay. Carla, Carla Benazir. <laughs> Carla Benazir. No, you are Textiles La Paz. Okay. So how, how tell me something that uh, make me, I am, I am your client, Carla, right? So convince me that the product of textiles La Paz is better than other textiles. Please, convince me. Okay. Uh, we have a high standards of quality of the production that we manufacture. Um, our clothes are 100% uh, friendly with the environment. Uh, we have different colors and the screen printing, uh, whatever you want. My goodness, I am very convinced. You know a lot and about your you, product. If you, like, if you like to wear Nike on their armor, the North Face with silver band. <clears throat> okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. I, I like I, I, I like your product. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, let me see. And the last, we're going to finish with Yvette. Yvette, what, what is the product of Grupo Pile? Pile. Pile. Yes. Okay, good. What, what, what is the product you, you sell or what or the service <laughs> that you offer? Uh, we are a product producer. Mm -hmm. Doctors. Loncheras. Somos productores. Ajá, y no, loncheras. No, uh, medicine, medicine. Ah, medicine, yes, yes, I remember now, I remember. I heard, I heard a publicity about, yes. Uh, medicine for human use. For human use. Uh, for example, what is the most popular medicine that you produce? Sudagrip. Ajá, uh -huh. Sudagrip. Uh -huh. Ah. Yes, this is a, a medicine very, for the flu. Yes, it's very good product. I have tried yes. to the grip, and yes. it's true. It's uh, uh, phosphoneuromax. Uh -huh. Okay. Hey, every has a dog. Look. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> for the interruption, but excuse me because I am watching Ever's uh, pet. <laughs> okay, continue, but in. What, what is different in your product? What can you offer me that the other companies or the other laboratories cannot offer me, Yvette? Uh, our client attention is excellent. 
Okay. Uh, we we are available all time for our clients. Nice. This is good. In my case, mm -hmm. uh, I I attend the the expo, the expo. Ah, you the the so you export the products. Yes. Nice. Yes. To what countries? Sorry to ask you. Right. What countries do you export? Central America. Mm -hmm. IT. IT. Venezuela, USA, to United and States too. Cuba. Cuba and Dominican Republic. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. So you're a big company, right? Congratulations. Yes. That's nice. Thank you. Okay, you see? So this is the way, you know, uh, the companies offer product. Sorry, I cannot ask everybody, right? Perdone que no les pregunte a todos, pero, you know, that, that is the idea, right? That the way you can promote your product in the market, right? And your services. So we're going to learn a little bit more about this with this conversation. Diana, or Diana, if you want to say, right? Is applying for a position in the marketing department, right? I imagine in your companies, there is a, a marketing department, of course, right? Uh, for example, Mariano, in Maxitech, there is a marketing department? Yes. Yes. Uh, but you don't work there, right, Mariano? You don't work in the marketing department, no. I am a technical advisor. Ah, okay, good. So, so you don't work there, but you know, right? You know. Good. Thank you, Mariano. Now, here we have an excerpt. Excerpt is like como un pedacito, como una, un extracto, right? from the interview, so, you know, Diana is applying for the job position and we're going to read a part of the interview she had, right? So let's start with Tim. Tim is the interviewer. I'm oh, sorry, but before to continue the attendance, excuse me, the attendance, right? What time is it? Oh, yes, it's time. Uh, Trini. Hello, Trini. <laughs> Okay, Aminda, Aminda, okay, Ana Maria, present, good, Carlos, I am here, Claudia Guadalupe, good, thank you, eh, Domingo, present, Ever, present, Jose Roberto, Present teacher. Good, thank you. Carla Benazir, manda el mensaje, por favor, Carla. Carla Vanessa. Present. Good. Laisley. Ok. Uh, ya tiene dos clases, no está Laisley. Espero que todo esté bien con su internet. Bueno, Leticia. Present teacher. Good, thank you. Um, sorry, uh, I need your help. Necesito su ayuda. Déjeme ver. Give me a second here, please. Uh, yes. Uh, Yvette, si me hace el favor de preguntarle a, a Laisley si, si todo está bien con su internet, por favor. Oiga. O, o no sé si se ven o es tan grande la compañía. No sé, Yvette. Mm, no, I... You don't know her. No, no la conoce. No. <laughs> okay, sorry. Excuse me. Por un momento pensé que era una oficina chiquita. A ver. Sorry, excuse me. Bueno, ojalá que se conecte el día de mañana. Okay, good. Continue, please. Eh, Mariano. Mariano. Present. Oscar. Thank you. Oscar. Present. Rosemary. Rosibel. Present. Sonia y Beth. Present. Good. Vanessa. Present. Walter. Present. Wendy. Present. Vicky. Present. Oh, hello, Vicky. Qué bueno hello, que se teacher. conectó. Qué bueno que se conectó al fin. Eh, yes. Más vale tarde que nunca, ¿verdad, Vicky? <ríe> ok, Miriam. <ríe> Miriam. 
Ok, good. Que me, me agrada que estén en clase. Yes. Eh, Chamba, me manda el mensaje, por favor, Chamba. Debbie. Present. Good. And Jorge Alfredo. Present teacher. Good. Welcome, Jorge. Eh, ya, Jorge, ya me lo incluyeron en el listado. Sí, ahora se comunicaron conmigo, teacher. Ah, qué bueno. Ahí está ya. Ya le pusimos eh, la asistencia. Porque al principio no había estado con nosotros, pero ya lleva tres, tres clases, tres días seguidos, ¿verdad? Bueno, tres clases. Así es. Ahora se comunicaron conmigo, voy a por ahí. Qué bueno, qué bueno que está con nosotros. Eh, y perdone la, la pregunta, eh, Jorge, ¿es negocio propio en el que trabaja? Sí. Sí, ah, va, está bien. Está bien. Ok, okay gracias. gracias. Thank you. Okay, now let's continue with the class. Let's continue, right? Okay, here we have the conversation. Listen, please. Permite un segundo. Um, Carla Chamba and Claudia Guadalupe. Okay, thank you, thank you. Ya, ya no, la anotamos la asistencia ahí. Good, continue. Tim says, let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix. Okay, good. So this is Tim. Tim is the interviewer, interviewer. And Diana is the interviewee, interviewee, <laughs> you know? La entrevistada, you know? El entrevistador y la entrevistada. Interviewer, interviewee. So Diana says, I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to. And you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four Ps. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? And Diana says, well, to put, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Okay, so this is the introduction of the conversation, I repeat. It's an excerpt, it's a, it's a short part of the full interview, right? Between Tim and Diana. And well, we were learning about some vocabulary of this conversation. Okay, and now we're going to practice pronunciation, please, because uh, we are going to cover only this page of the manual. Uh, Everybody is going to part, uh, to make the conversation, right? So we're going to practice the pronunciation very well, you know? Okay. So let's be, begin with the pronunciation. Repeat after me, please. Uh, microphones off, right? Todo con los micrófonos apagados. So let's start with the most important part of the interview. Let's start. Start, interview, interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? Uh, Guarantee the success of the marketing mix. Key elements. Key elements. Key elements. Guarantee. Guarantee. Success. Success. Now again. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. Target 
target. That is, you must define who you are selling to. That is, you must define who you are selling to. Define, define. Selling, selling. And you need to figure out what they want. And you need to figure out what they want. Figure out. Figure out. If you don't do this, if you don't do this, your business will inevitably, inevitably, inevitably fail. This word is difficult for me to inevitably, inevitably. Inevitably, business, business, fail, fail. If you don't do, sorry, if you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four P's. Target. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Marketing mix. How would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, 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 the marketing mix is about The marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and the right price. Price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Every aspect of your business plan. <clears throat> aspect. Okay, good class. Any question about vocabulary? Any word that is difficult for you? Inevitably. Inevitably. The pronunciation, right? Yes. yes. It's inevitably. Right <laughs> inevitably. 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 Because the T is like in. in you can say the T if you want. Inevitably, inevitably, or inevitably. Both are correct, you know? Like water, 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 elevator, elevator. It's the same. So you can say inevitably or inevitably, right? The two pronunciations are good. In Spanish? Inevitable, right? Okay, thank you. Now, other question? Vanessa? Hey, 
Play, play, plainly. Plainly. Uh -huh. plainly. Planamente, right? Plainly. plainly. The pronunciation. It goes, mm -hmm. remember? Remember what I say last class. You have to pay attention in the root. Pongamos atención en la, en la, en la raíz de la palabra, right? En la raíz. In this case, it's plain, plano, you know? Plain. Nice. And then you say, Lee, plainly. Say again, Vanessa, please. Only you. Plainly. Excellent. Good. Please, another question. It's guarantee. Guarantee. Uh, guarantee. 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 Okay. Guarantee. Uh, the pronunciation of the meaning. The pronunciation. Ah, the pronunciation. Because here's the guarantee. meaning. Guarantee. Domingo. Guarantee. A guarantee. promise that something is of a specified quality. Content benefit, right? Or that it will perform satisfactorily for a given length of time. Guarantee, right? Guarantee. Guarantee. One year. <laughs> okay. Very good. So it's also used to describe that you're going to obtain a refund in any store, right? Le van a regresar el dinero si el producto está mal, right? That's why we always have to, to keep the ticket because sometimes products fail, right? Okay, now, if no more questions, we're going to start practicing together, right? Good. So, Let's start with Trini. Trini, you're going to be Diana, right? And Carlos, you're going to be Tim. Ready? Okay. Ah, uh, Carlos. Okay. Let's start. Yes. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the, the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is your, your most define who you are selling to and you need to figure it out what they want if you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four P's. Now, second question. Who will you define the marketing mix? Well, to put in plainly, the marketing mix it is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price to do this well you need to know every aspect of your business plan good thank you very much carlos repeat please guarantee guarantee success 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 yeah very good success. this is a question listen carlos how would you define the marketing mix? How would you define the marketing mix? It's the intonation, right? Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, right? I'm sorry. I have some problem right now, but okay. Now, uh, uh, Trini, please listen this. Uh, inevitably. Inevitably. Figure out. Figure, figure out. Like figure fix, out. Figure out. Figure out. Plainly. Plainly. Good, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, Ana Maria, please. And Domingo. Domingo, you are team. And Ana Maria, you are Diana, right? Ready? One, two, three, now. Let's start with, with the most important part of the interview. 
What is the first question? What are the, the key elements that were guarantee the success of the marketing needs? Ana Maria? Okay, so uh, Carla Vanessa, please. Can you help me, Carla Vanessa? Yes, teacher. Okay, I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That, that is the right target your market and be, uh, be sure to understand the four peaks. Now, second question, how, 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 how will you define the marketing needs? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and the right, right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Nice, thank you very much for you both, Domingo and Vanessa, thank you very much. Now, next participant, right? Eh, Ever de Jesus and Leticia. Leticia Guadalupe, let me see. Yes, you're, yeah, thank you, you're going to be Diana, right? Okay, let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is the most define who you are selling to and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four P's. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Well, uh, you, put, you put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And notice this, that it says put it, right? It's together. You don't say put it, but together, put it, put it, to put it plainly, to put it plainly. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, it's a presentation uh, plainly. Plainly, plain, like, you know, plain, plano, you know, plainly, plainly. Well, Okay. Plainly. Thank you. Good. And this is success. Success. Okay. Now we're going to do something. Uh, after this, I want Jose Roberto and Rosibel. But before to go to, to, to this, let's practice the last pronunciation, please. Repeat after me, please, everybody. <clears throat> Sorry. Repeat after me. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to.
and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. Or your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four Ps. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time. Time, close your lip, right? Is it time? With the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Okay, Jose Roberto and Rosibel, please go ahead. One, two, three. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start with the most part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that gar gar guarantee the success of the marketing mix? Rosibel? I'm okay, so how to target ah, okay. the market that is. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Now, I think. Okay. I think you have to target your market that is your most defined who you are selling to. And you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will. In the BW, right? Okay, that's right. Tar target your market and be sure to understand the four PS. Now, second question How will you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the market mix is about putting the right product in the right place and timed with the right promotion and at the right price. To do, to do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Okie dokie, thank you. Vanessa, please, and Mariano. Thank you. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements to guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is you must define who you are selling to. And you need to figure out to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and, market and be sure to understand the four Ps. Now, second question. How will you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. 
my goodness, we're improving a lot, right? Ya casi lo logramos, casi perfecto, you know, almost perfect. Good. Let me see. Oscar Arnulfo, you haven't participated yet, right, Oscar? No yet, right? Okay. So yes, no problem. Be, no, right? Okay, so you are going to be team, and Wendy is going to be Diana, please. One, two, three, now. Okay, let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee to the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right, target your market and be sure to do understand the four Ps. Now, second question, how would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Excuse me, I made a mistake. Eh, creo que me equivoqué. Este no es intermedio, creo que es avanzado, ¿verdad? Yes. My goodness. Good pronunciation, right? That's nice. Okay, David, please. And Jorge Alfredo. Jorge Alfredo, your team. And David, your Diana. Please. Jorge Alfredo, are you there? Okay, so uh, Vicky, can you help me, Vicky? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. You're going to be team, right? And Dave is going to okay. be Diana, okay? One, two, okay. three. Let's start with the most important part of the interview here. Is the first question What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to. And you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and uh, be sure to understand the fourth piece. Now, second question. How will you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plain, plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product, right product in the right place and time with the right promo promotion and at the right place. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business. Okie dokie, thank you very much, girls. So we have Miriam, Miriam, and who else? Alguien más me falta uh, que me ayude con Miriam. ¿Quién no ha participado aparte de Miriam? Sorry, can you help me? Uh, Yvette, okay, so thank you, Yvette. So Yvette, you're going to be team. And Miriam, you're going to be Diana, okay? To finish. One, two, three. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the, fir the first question. What are the key elements uh, that warranty the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to and you need to figure it out what they want. If you don't do this, your business is inevitable fail. That's right. Charter the market and be sure to understand uh, the force. Um, now, second question. How would you, you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. 
¿Cómo seguiste? Pues ya te pasó todo. Ok, thank you very much. Thank you very much. No, give me a second. Vamos a apagar los micrófonos un ratito. Ok, good. This is, this is normal, right? A mí me ha pasado muchas veces. Hoy en la mañana en la clase de mi hija, pues, estaba tranquilo hablando, ¿verdad? Y el micrófono encendido. No hay problema, es normal. Ok. Eh, who's missing? ¿Alguien que me hizo falta? ¿Alguien que no lo puse a participar? Me he hecho. Uh, Ana María, ok. ¿Y qué más? Ana María ahí. Eh, Jorge. No. Me. Ok, tell me your name. Pero regáleme el nombre, que no, no lo... Walter. Walter, ok. Walter en Ana María, ok. So, ready? One, two, three. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to, and you need to figure it out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure you understand the four piece. Now, second question. Who will you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it what I mean, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Okie dokie, thank you very much. Now, the three words that win the most difficult part of, of tonight's class is guarantee, success, and inevitably. Inevitably. Oh, you can say inev inevitably. Inevitably. Huh? You know? Success. Success. Guarantee, guarantee. Huh? Okay, thank you very much. Now we're going to go to some questions. What does target your market mean? What does each of the four P's stand for? Or the meaning, right? The meaning of the four P's stand for? And how would you describe, how would you describe the term marketing mix in your own word, right? So let's go to volunteers. We read the conversation many times, so I'm sure your, the information is here. What does target your market mean? What is the meaning of target your market? Volunteers? Yeah. Come on. You, you can do it, come on. Target your market. What is the meaning of that? It's difficult, right? <laughs> Come on. One brave student, un estudiante to, valiente. To focus in a specific market, to know what they want, and in this, with this information, to you, you work. Something like that. Very good. Yes, totally right. So target your market is here. Look. Mm -hmm. Here, right? Who you are selling to, right? You must know that. Debes saber a quién le está vendiendo. Quién es su cliente, right? And you need to figure out what they want. Debes saber quién es y qué es lo que quiere, right? If you know that, for example, uh, I heard you were saying, uh, uh, Ana Maria was saying about Euromoda, right? That is... I thought only women, or yo pensé que solo las mujeres eran el, el target de Euromoda, sino que es también niños, of course, you know, los niños se visten, obvio, and, and men too, right? So that is the public that Euromoda wants, and 
Euromano must, must know right, what, what they want, pero también no solo quién, sino que qué es lo que quiere, right? qué es lo que quiere el cliente. Eh? That is target your market. Second one, what does each of the four P's stand for? Es, mm -hmm. is the uh, about the, the the right product uh -huh. in the right right the place and time with the right promotion and promotion. Okay, good. The, Sorry, the the right promise 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 promotion promotion promotion. promotion. Thank you. Okay, and the right price. Good, thank you. Let's go one by one, Domingo. Number one, because remember uh, there the, are four, right? Four P's. Product. Product. Uh -huh. P. The right pros. Good. Then place. Place Places. and time, you know, because P Places. start with place and time. So place. Number two, right? Price. Number three, right? And se nos quedó promotion aquí. Promotion. 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 So in this case, it's product, price, place, and promotion. P, 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 okay? For peace. Product, price, place, and promotion, right? And finally, this is Marketing mix. What is the marketing mix? In your own words, what is that? The answer is here, look. Here, right? Maybe to apply the four piece. Uh huh. The, to apply the four piece, where? In the market. In the market, correct. Yeah. That's it, right? <laughs> yes. So, mix. What is mix? That you put together the four piece, the the price, the promotion, the the place, etc. And you mix them, right? You mix the four piece in the market. That's it. That is marketing mix. Thank you. You got the idea, right? Okay, that's it. We finished the class. So uh, I will show you extra material, right? For the last 10 minutes. Vamos a ver, escuchar uh, un listening. Y ahí terminamos la clase. Uh, I'm going to take the attendance. Pero antes vamos a pasar al estado de asistencia. Y uh, let me ask, Jose Roberto, can you stay the 10 minutes after the class, Jose Roberto? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So, nos vamos a quedar con Jose Roberto, right? Good. Uh, aprovechando, ¿hay alguna pregunta sobre la plataforma? ¿Ya me terminaron la unidad 1? ¿Todos? Yo no, teacher, porque no me ha funcionado la contraseña todavía. Mire, ahí en el correo está el número telefónico de inglés corporativo. ¿Cree que me hace el favor de contactarse mañana con ellos? Ah, sí, sí. sí. Por favor, porque eh, eso es vital, porque hay tres cosas que les van a dar su nota. La número uno es estar en todas las clases, el 80%, ¿verdad? Como mínimo. Eh, número dos, la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y número tres, una encuesta que vamos a llenar al final del, del, del curso, ¿sí? Son tres cosas que tienen que tener completas, ¿sí? Entonces, okay. la plataforma es vital. Así que, por favorcito, ellos le aseguro que le van a ayudar a conectarse ¿Sí? a la plataforma. Y cualquier duda que tenga, algún ejercicio, ¿verdad? El que más nos costó es de la clase número, número cuatro, creo, ¿verdad? Que era ordenar con el Boot Rather. Esa parte nos costó muchísimo, ¿verdad? Así que cualquier cosa, ahí estamos a la orden, ¿ok? La última no me ha salido todavía. No ha salido todavía, pero eh, solo es de ir poniendo la respuesta correcta, ¿verdad? Solo es de ponerle un puntito ahí al que, al, de las cuatro respuestas. Pero ahí está en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Sí, ok, good. Entonces puede hacerlo ahora o mañana. 
Y luego ya comenzamos, el lunes comenzaríamos con la tarea de la clase número 7, sería, ¿verdad? Porque la, la clase 6 y 7 es una sola tarea. ¿Ok? Está más fácil, pues eso es una tarea. ¿Ok? Good. So, uh, attendance, please. Uh, Trini. Present. Good. Ana María. Present. Carlos. Present. Claudia. Domingo. Ahí está. Present. Ya. Claudia Present. Guadalupe, ya lo anoté. Gracias. Eh, Ever. Present. José Present. Roberto. Thank you. José Roberto. José Roberto. Present, present, good, teacher. Good, thank you, thank you. Eh, Carla Benacir, me manda el mensaje, por favor. Carla Vanessa. Present. Leticia. Mariano. Present, teacher. Oscar. I'm here. Rosibel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Yvette. Present, teacher. Vanessa, Noemi. Present. Walter. Present. Wendy. Present. Vicky. Present, Vicky. Good, thank you. Miriam. Miriam. Here. Good, thank you. Here. Chamba, me manda el mensaje, por favor. Debbie. Present. And Jorge Alfredo. Jorge Alfredo. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, vamos a ver el chat. Tengo a Carla y Claudia Guadalupe Chamba. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's go to the last exercise. Vamos a ir al último ejercicio y después me quedo solo con José Robert. Okay. Just give me a second. No se me retiren todavía, ¿verdad? Que todavía nos falta un ejercicio. Ok. Give me a second. Aquí estamos con este ejercicio. No, no, no. We don't have time. Creo que ya no nos queda tiempo para el listen. Entonces solo vamos a ver uno de vocabulario. Yes. Good. That's it, right? Ahí estamos, ahí estamos. Okay. What's next? Listen to what happened to these people. Check the thing that have that have happened to you, right? So we're going to listen all these accidents, right? Or situations. And then you are going to mark or you're going to check the thing that personally happened to you. Listen to the audio, please. Unit 12, it's a long story. Page 78, exercise two, perspectives. What next? Part A. Listen to what happened to these people. Check the things that have happened to you. I was having lunch when I spilled a cup of coffee on my clothes. I was driving to the airport to pick up a friend, but I got a flat tire. I was studying for an important test when the lights went out. While I was walking down the street, I found a wallet with lots of money. I was traveling in another country when I met an old school friend. I was getting off a bus when I slipped and fell on the sidewalk. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. Good. Um, pick up a friend's right means ir a traer. And a flat tire means not janta pacha, right? The lights went out means that a black off, right? Se fue la luz, okay? 
and then sleep means deslizarse, right? Sleep, deslizarse, okay? And a celebrity, you can include Michael González, Tenchi Celiver, uh, um, and other celebrities in Salvador, you know, like Cocolito, for example, <laughs> okay? So now the question is, uh, what are these things have happened to you? Volunteers, please. At least one, right? Al menos creo que una de estas cosas le ha pasado a alguno de ustedes, yes? The first one. The first one. Me pasa every day. Oh, come on. <laughs> Pero no está muy caliente el café, Vanessa. It's not too hot. No. No, okay, good. Yeah. The Very good, me. thank you. Anybody else? The same for me, the first, the but but not not every day. Not every day, <laughs> every week. <laughs> and more? No, in occasion. In occasion. Yeah, in occasion. In, in more occasion. when you when you have a, a white a white skirt. dress, right? In your case, oh, yeah. white blouse. Oh, white look white at shirt. this guy, for example. Look, <laughs> poor guy. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Anybody Number else? Three. Sorry? I am I am working. Number three. Number three. Uh, and when you were working, the lights went out. Se fue la luz cuando estaba trabajando, yes? Yes. Yes, okay, good. Pero no asusta ahí en la oficina. <laughs> no. Okay. No. No, no, okay. <laughs> no, in my house and computing. Ah, you were working in your computer. Okay. Yes. <laughs> nice. I understand. I understand. Thank you. Anybody else? Teacher. Yes. What is iPhone at the wallet with a lot of money? Ah, you? You're asking for the meaning or it happened to you, Oscar? No, it's the meaning. Ah, okay. <laughs> so. Sorry, Oscar, I thought it, 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 tiene un montón de pistas, Oscar, que encontró una billetera. So, found a wallet means to, to you know, uh, I will show you my wallet, give me a second. Okay, here, right, my wallet. Okay. The wallet, right? And then you are- I have the money. No, I have the money. No, but it, it, uh, it hasn't happened to you, Oscar, no? No. Oh, come on. <laughs> The opposite, al contrario, se le ha perdido. Okay, I found, good. I found money, but it's not a lot. It's, it's just one dollar. Uh, no one dollar, maybe five or, or ten dollars okay. in the strip. Uh -huh. nice. A penny. A penny, <laughs> every day, come on. <laughs> every day. No, yes, I... Last time I found a quarter, right? <laughs> yeah, well, a lot of money, you know. <laughs> Good. So Someday I found twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Yes. Would you like to share the money with the class, please? No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have yet. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much, everybody. We're going to continue tomorrow. It was a pleasure. Have a good night. God bless you. Right. Me quedo solo con José Roberto. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Teacher. Yes. Yes. I don't actually have to respond when you um pass list. The attendance. The attendance. Okay. Give me a second. Yeah, eh, Jose Roberto, está por ahí, Jose Roberto. <coughs> Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, perdón, perdón. Disculpe que no lo veía, ya me había asustado. Que no. Va, Leticia, give me a second, Leticia. Ahorita le anoto la asistencia. Sí, ya le había anotado, Leticia. Yes, the attendance, no problem. Sí, que no logré. No, no, that's okay. Thank you, teacher. Lo, lo último no pudo captar, ¿verdad? Pero no se preocupe, ya le había tomado la asistencia. Thank you, thank you, Leticia. Have a good night. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Have okay. a good night. See you tomorrow. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, Roberto, how are you? And the camera, Roberto, come on. 
So, sorry, teacher. The, my my cell phone is is institutional. I think ah. that this work, and they can they uh, block uh, for security the camera. the camera. Yes. Oh well, don't worry, don't worry, Roberto. I, we are going to have the class like you, right? So now, how do you like the class, Roberto? How do you like the class? It's okay for yeah. you. Yes, for me it's okay. Uh, the most of uh, of the class is uh, speaking English. I know, and uh, that is very important. Um, and um, the um, dynamics um, too. <clears throat> I think. Um, is is good when we practice uh, the pronunciation and okay. when 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 you correct us and and um i think uh, for this class the most important is <clears throat> uh, try to uh, memorize uh, yeah. all of the a lot uh, of concepts right Mm -hmm. Yes, a lot of concept and vocabulary. Uh, for me, it's 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 good. Okay, uh, and Roberto, would you like that I explain one part that was difficult for you? Mm. One topic that you say, ah, this topic was difficult for me. Do you want me to explain tonight? Um, well, I, I, I think when, uh, the, the, the topic when we use, uh, the, I don't remember the word, but, but, but when you use, uh, would. I uh, would rather, uh, would rather. Uh, yes. Would rather. Okay. Don't worry. I will, I will look for, yes, this class was was very difficult yes yes for everybody right so give me a second i will we'll do something here i will look for the material roberto give me a second here in the corporativo here and would rather okay Give me a second, Roberto. Okay. Good. Here, right? Can you see the presentation, Roberto? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. So um, to express that you like something, you use the verb like, right? Simple like yes. that. I like, for example, I like pupusas, I like, I like rock, I like music, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right. I like, I like. Also, there are other verbs like I want, I need, etc. Mm -hmm. etc. So simple subject, the verb, and the company, right? I like. But if you want to be polite, amable, amable, mm -hmm. right? Polite. You can use the word would like. For example, when you are in a restaurant, you know, when you are in a restaurant, you, you don't say, I like, I like. No, no, you say, I would like, right? Okay. To be, to be polite. And when you use would like, you have to use an infinitive. What is an infinitive, Roberto? Is the preposition to, right? Plus uh -huh. the base form of a verb, you know? Preposition to plus the base form of the verb. And then we have this example. Look, I would like to eat pupusas. Uh -huh. To eat. <clears throat> I would like to go. No. Also, I can use a contraction. Instead of saying I would, I can say I'd, I'd, she'd, they'd. You would, et cetera, et cetera, right? But you know that is the meaning is wood, right? Wood. 
in the cases like to go, like to sell, etc. etc. And I repeat, is when you want to be polite. Hmm? When you want to express that you like something, that you are polite. Good. This is number two. And number three, you say that you like something, but in this case, you have two things, two or more things, right? Or in other words, you are expressing preference. Okay? Am I clear? Good. Okay. Again, number one, I like. Number two, if you are polite, I would like, but there is only one option. And number three, I would rather, and in this case, you have two or more options. So you are expressing okay. preference. Está expresando a preferencia de dos o más cosas, right? Okay? Okay. So in this case, Roberto, you are going to use would rather, would rather plus the base form. Look, the base <laughs> form. No preposition to, mm -mm, no. No preposition to. Look, here we have, for example, <clears throat> you'd rather. <coughs> I'm sorry. Rather. And look, by. Hmm? No, no, you don't say to buy. No, to buy, no. It's only buy. Like I say okay. in this class, como, como le dijo esa vez en esa clase, el verbo pelón. <laughs> El verbo solito, right? Okay. Buy, you know? And then I repeat. <clears throat> Number one, I like. Me gusta. Quiero. I like. I like. Number two, I would like. Quisiera. Oh, well, like. Quisiera, right? And number three, I would rather. Preferiría. Okay. Esto que lo otro, right? That is the idea. And let me, let me tell you that the word would is the past tense of want. Good is the past, want is the present, and will is the future. Uh -huh. Will, want, would. Uh, it's the same word, it's la misma palabra. Solo que en pasado, presente y futuro, right? So in, okay. this case, in this case, would rather means yo preferiría, preferiría esto que lo otro, right? Good. Understand, Roberto? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, rather, uh, we we use when we're talking about preference. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, or, yes, preference about. Uh, Two or, or more or, things. Two. Or, uh, yes. Two or more things, right? Here, for example, okay. hamburger or pizza is only two, right? But when you yeah. say. Uh, See a movie, you're talking about many activities like go to a restaurant, go to dance, good, etc. Mm -hmm. etc. There are many oh, options, okay. but you're choosing see a movie, right? You prefer to okay. see a movie. Okay. Okay. Good. Any other question, Roberto? Any other topic that you consider difficult for you? No, teacher. No, no, no for the moment. Okay. Okay. So my recommendation for tonight, Roberto, before we finish, yeah. okay. uh, recommendation number one, please watch a movie in English every week. Okay. Recommendation okay. number one. Do you have Netflix at home? Uh, not yet. No. Disney? No. HBO or uh, something? No. <laughs> Only YouTube. <laughs> okay, YouTube. Yeah, but in YouTube, you can see some movies too, right? Yes, oh, yes. Original movies, you know? <laughs> okay. Yes. 50 centavos de horror. Para niños. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when you go downtown, right? When you want uno al centro, okay, 50 cents. <laughs> yes. Now, so you can see those movies. But listen to me, Roberto. No Spanish, only English, right? Okay. And in preference about a uh, children movie, right? Or romantic or comedies? Okay. Romance, comedies, and children. In esos tres tipos de película, el lenguaje es más entendible, okay? My recommendation. Okay. Recommendation two. 
you go to YouTube and you find the, the, the song that you like in English, like Queen, okay. uh, Michael Jackson, Roxette, Bee Gees, Lee Good Mac, The Beatles, etc., etc., et right? Okay. And you copy the word lyrics, Let, la letra de la canción, right? Uh -huh. And I say today, right? Hoy les iba a enviar el video, pero mañana se lo voy a enviar. So, it's one example. A video with the lyrics, un video con la letra de la canción. Every week, right? One song, every week. One movie, every week. Understand? And the last thing, right? The last recommendation for tonight. Please go to YouTube and you copy audio books audio books, right? And there are many books in YouTube that you can read in English, right? And okay. they speak, they speak to you. Se lo van leyendo el libro en inglés, right? And you only listen. No. They, they are too long, right? Uh, dos horas, tres horas, it's too long, right? So my recommendation is that you watch an audio book every month. Cada mes, right? Okay. When you have time, when you are on Sunday, when you're free, please, you can do it, right? Okay. Good, Roberto. So that's it. That is the class for tonight. So I don't know if you have any extra question. No, teacher. No? Okay. So it was a pleasure. I hope to see you to, uh, tomorrow. Yes. Okay. And God bless you. Have a good night. Have a good night, teacher. Okay, thank you. Bye.